Welcome back ladies and gentlemen and welcome. It's the first video of the week of the daily uploading. That is correct. We are uploading every single weekday reselling content. So if you're, that is something that you want to look at and enjoy, please do think about subscribing to the channel every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There will be a reselling related content on this channel. So without further ado, smash that like button, subscribe. And you know what we're going to start off with? This lovely little mystery box. Which I believe was sent in by Reseller Daz. Again, Reseller Daz is a freaking legend in this game. Go and follow him on his Instagram. His Instagram will be linked in the description below. So let's get this cracked and have a look what's inside. I'm actually like genuinely buzzing and intrigued to see what Daz has sent me. What a legend, mate. You, you mate, are a legend. Keep up, keep smashing it. And thank you so much in advance for what's inside here. So let's get it open. And he's even rocking the e by gum tape. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you for being you from Reseller Daz. Hopefully you can make use of them. Again, Reseller Daz, you're a freaking legend. His link to his Instagram will be in the description below. Go and give him a follow. Absolutely quality guy. Uh, I'm sure whatever they are, I'll be able to make a use for them. Oh boy. No way. I know what these are. These are like little trainer shoe uh, advertising board things. Oh, these are so, so sick. Wow. Woohoo. Loving this one. Oh, wow. These are, these are sick. Where did you get these from? Hopefully. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, Daz, I freaking love you, man. That is sick. Loke Shoemakers. We've got a bit of Vandal as well. Oh yes, I could <laughs> I could definitely use these. Animatomic and Co. We've got a nice like wooden pad as one. We've got a load of Vandal ones like this. These are so freaking cool. Uh again, I, I I'm in love with this one. This one I'm gonna use every single day. Even if the shoe that I'm advertising to sell isn't Lokes, I'm gonna use it. But yeah, I could certainly use them. Again, Daz. Thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, you are a legend. Uh, but yeah, they are sick. Just look at them. <laughs> Love them. Tell you what, this community is amazing. Absolutely incredible. What a perfect way to start the weekday vlogs. A beautiful mystery box from you, sir. Thank you, and let's crack on with the rest of the day. Right, during the weekend, I actually decided to pack the majority of the orders. So that being said, we now just need to put labels on all of this stuff. Oh, and that as well. Yeah, I did actually do a separate video for that because that's a what sold video and it was a really, really good week. So I thought I'd better do that in one separate video. So just gonna get them all printed now and uh, sort of packed away and then I drop them off at my local Hermes. And then we'll go to the unit and we'll pick some orders. So some of you guys will be asking how I, and what do I use and how do I ship my labels? It's very simple. I go on to top cashback, type in parcel to go, which is literally that one there. And then what it will do, it will import all my orders from eBay. And all I have to do is simply click the correct service that I want to use and the size and the weight, and it'll produce the label accordingly. And it's that simple. And the reason why I use top cashback is because I get a roughly 1% cash back for every order that I put through parcel to go. So if I spend a hundred pound on postage, I'll get 1% back and it all adds up. Currently, you saw the bank balance at the moment, currently got about nearly 300 pound just in top cash back in the last two years, which is crazy. So I can literally withdraw that as PayPal or anything like that or any gift cards and I could just use it as cash. So it's brilliant. And voila. The labels have been printed. And everything that goes Royal Mail, I actually use click and drop. And what I mean by anything that goes Royal Mail, basically anything that has a BT uh, postcode all goes as a large letter. Just how I've always run my business and it works for me. I'm very, very blessed and lucky to have an every and a post office in the same shop. So literally I can go to one shop and it's literally in walking distance. I will not be walking today because I think I've got to take well over a hundred parcels today which is crazy. Um, like I said, a whole new video, a whole separate video on what I sold over there, but 
yeah, that's how I run my business. That's how I run my postage and packaging. So I'm just going to do these three now. And uh, then we will go to the unit and pick the remaining orders. Wow, wow, wee wow. There's a lot of parcels here. I think there's about 70 to 80 parcels here. We've got a few going Royal Mail, but the majority of it is going via every. Like I said, everything small parcel wise goes every, medium parcel goes every. Anything that's large letter or BT postcoded will go a Royal Mail. And I'm extremely lucky that I have both in one shop. So we've still got about 15, 20 more items to go and pick now. So let's head to the unit. Obviously being Monday, it's probably one of those busiest days for a reseller, packing the weekend orders. Uh, so let's get a wiggle on and go to the unit and pick the remaining. Hopefully we'll be able to finish this, this little segment off quite soon. Uh, I hate packing, I hate postage, I hate all of that sort of stuff. But it is, what it is, is part of the game. Well, the unit, we meet again. Right, in the G-Box we sold another Otterbox, which is like a sort of cover case for your iPhone. This is an iPhone XR, sold that for £10. Should go as a large letter. And as you can see, you can see me. But yes, this is the unit. This is where I predominantly keep most of my stock and it's all beautiful skewed in these boxes. So when I list an item, I simply put what box it's gonna go into. So then I know when it sells exactly where it is and it just speeds up the process of listing, dispatching, packing and all that tremendously. Having a SKU system is probably the number one thing that we should all be doing. SKU systems, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine, if it works for you, that's the one that you should stick with. But this really has changed my eBay life. SKU systems are the one. In the AB box, we should have a pair of Mizuno Waves. We have, they sold for £25 free postage. Could have gone a little bit more, but they have seen little day, like a little better days because look, some of it, of some of the uh, foam, the midsole is starting to crack a little bit. There's a little bit of bits flaking here, there and everywhere. But Mizuno Waves uh, seem to be the one. Again, the only sort of sub-model of Mizuno that I've found so far that's actually worth picking up. Mizuno Wave Riders. Wave Rider 3s, I think they are. So yeah, Mizuno Wave Riders, pretty good. And to be fair, considering I'm in this box, I might as well pick up these three beauties. These are Wentworth Wooden Puzzles. And they sold for £55 for the three. It was about £18 each. So yeah, massive, massive bolo. If you do follow me on Instagram, you would have seen them on Instagram already. But yeah, 40-piece puzzles, wooden, brand new, £18 each. Hell to the yeah. Inside this box should be a pair of on clouds. Oh boy, this box is rammed. Well, I know I've sold these, but I wasn't looking for these. These are a pair of Nike leather blazers, a beautiful, beautiful piece. Nice purple Nike tick. They sell for 40 quid. Nike leather blazers are the one. And I think Flip Room, aka Adam, is a big advocate of these as well. So yeah, massive shout out to Adam as well. Uh, he knows, he knows his stuff, clearly. 40 pound, thank you very much, Adam. Much appreciated. And here they are. A pair of on clouds sold for £60 free postage. And here we are, another little sale, a nice little WWF dolphin sold for £10 free postage. They used to do really well with WWF uh, sort of branded plushes. They have taken a little bit of a dive, no pun intended, considering this is a dolphin, uh, in price, but it is what it is £10 free postage will go really, really easy. Just bang it in a mailing bag. Happy days. Bosh. This little thing, sold for $12.99, free postage, will go as a large letter just. Uh, and that's why I picked it up. Pay, owes me a pound, pound into 12 pound, and large letter. It's not bad. It's a little uh, door and window sensor, basically. So yeah, nice, easy money. Yeet. And the last item that's in the unit, because we've got three that's not in the unit, they're actually in the house, uh, is these pair of Echo, sort of just like, walking shoes they are in really good nick to be fair uh not as much money as i thought i had them up for 25 and took them off of 21. so yeah not too shibby shabby but what we need to do now is go to the house and pick the three remaining orders 
because um, how I run my business, I have a couple of boxes at home that need filling up so I can list them, put them in the box and then take them to the unit when they're full. Uh, that being said, we've got three that have sold from them two boxes already, which is a good indication that I'm listing the right things because they are selling quickly. So we need to head home and pick the three. That's right, one, two more, three remaining orders. So unit, until next time. What I would say though is I am proper struggling with jet lag. I'm just getting back into normality. Got back on Saturday and today being Monday, um, I can't sleep properly. I genuinely can't sleep properly. I've been going to bed at like four, five, six o'clock in the morning. That's mental. And then just getting up at like 11, 12, one o'clock in the afternoon the next day. Um, I need to sort it out. I need to try and go sleep early, but it's a lot, a lot easier said than done. But, um, Anyway, enough waffling on. We've got some so much work to do. I think the Hermes drop-off guy is probably going to kill us with the amount of parcels that are going to go through his store today. But hey, we'll see what happens. We're now home and we've sold a pair of ASIC Nova Blast 2s. They sold for £40, £45, pounds, there or thereabouts. So yeah, definitely be on the lookout for them. Nova Blast 2s. And then we sold a pair of Nike Free Freeze going abroad to, I believe, Italy. They paid £30, but I think they paid about 50, 60 quid all in from the GSP. They're just sort of nice training shoes, free freeze. F-R-E-E-3. -E Almost forgot, we sold a Black Star Pokemon Mew Hollow. We sold this for, I think, 80 or 75? 75, 80 pound. Uh, not too bad. Really are starting to sell some cards now. It's always nice because when they sell, a fairly good chunk of change so yes psa 9 will go in a box inside a mailing bag inside of bubble wrap and all that good stuff to ensure no damage during transit because uh obviously collectors collect these and they want to be in the best condition as possible it's time to pack all these put the postage labels on and get them all sent with hermes today like i said that guy could kill us today because we've got a lot of stock to be sent over there today and the last order that needs to be packed is this Mew card. So when it comes to packing cards, I'll simply put this inside one of them. So then it will look something like this. I would then grab one of these boxes, which is the eBay sort of green ones, which I can get with my £10 off a voucher every month because of the shop that I'm on. So I can get 25 of these for like nothing which is always nice scrunch up some newspaper so it's got a nice bottom layer of newspaper hang the card on top and then cover the rest of it with newspaper so it looks something like that and then tape it all up and it looks something like so and that is how i pack a pokemon card that's been graded with psa omg there's about 80 to 100 orders there which is ridiculous. Not gonna lie, before we are gonna go to the post office, I just had to sort out the new Sky stuff that I'm ordered. So I've ordered the new Sky Glass TV and new fiber to home. Fiber to home, so I can get these videos uploaded super duper fast. Really happy with that. So now we can go to the post office and Hermes drop off and drop the parcels. But yeah, this vlog, well maybe not this vlog, but next week, Uploads are going to be fast. Oh boy, it's time to try and fit all this in a little courser. Yeah, it's pretty full. Oh boy, I think. The Hermes guy is going to be impressed with us, but hey, needs must. We've done a lot this week, this weekend. So let's get it out of the door. Thank you. Woo! What a day. Parcel's done, he didn't kill us, which is good. He was actually really excited to see us. Um, his Royal Mail thing was broken, so I've just left him with him. I'm gonna go check back with him tomorrow to see if he manages to do it. But yeah, let's see where else the day will take us. So I'm sitting here thinking, I've got 202 listings available to send offers on. I think now that I've caught up, I think we're gonna activate them listings and we're gonna activate the offer and see what comes in and see what happens. But look at this. Listings eligible to send offers, 202. Hey, like I said, we're gonna send them offers out now and see in the next couple of days what returns we get back. Hopefully, 
it pushes some sales. I normally do just a blanket of 10% off everything and then see what happens. So I'm gonna get these offers sent and hopefully in the next couple of days, we'll start to see some sales. I mean, I've just said that after we've packed over 100 orders, but it is what it is. of 10% send. Happy days. And the crazy thing is, it said the value of that is just under 10 grand's worth of value that I've just sent 10% off. I think I'm gonna end today's video here simply because I have a next level resale meeting with Sam and some of our other members in our little Discord group that we've got going for Amazon and eBay. So I'm not gonna bore you with that. I'm gonna go and do that now. And then obviously I need to get this uploaded as well. So hopefully you are seeing this at a reasonable time. I'm hoping I can get these videos out at about six, seven o'clock every single day for your faces. Smash that like button for daily, week, day vlogs. I know John's doing it and I know John is absolutely smashing it. I've been inspired by him and I've been pushed by James Collect to do so. They are right. I have nothing else to do. I do this full time, so I might as well pick up the camera where I can. So guys, hopefully you do enjoy these. Smash that like button if you do. Subscribe if you are looking forward to the future ones. Obviously, Monday all the way till Friday, there'll be a new video on this channel. We're going to try something new. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching so, so much. I love you all, and I'll see you beautiful lot in the next one. Bish.